Hi guys, my name is Kaylin. And my name is Kara. And, and welcome, welcome to the, the 12, 12 Titans Kennel Channel. Channel. <laughs> we are the proud parents of, of Finn, Finnegan, who's eating his paw right now. And we are going to show you guys a couple of things that Finn is learning. Um, <laughs> Erica will edit this out. Sorry, Erica. Okay. <laughs> okay. We are going to show you guys a couple of things that Finn is learning. And then you'll be able to tune into the 12 Titans channel because they are very busy on the homestead this week with the brand new litter. So we're teaching Finn heel, which is basically for him to just walk beside us. So Finn heel. Good boy. Heel. Good boy. Heel, good boy. Heel, 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 good boy. So some of the other tricks he's learning are sit, good boy. Paw, good boy. Down, good boy. Oops, sit, good boy. Paw, good boy. Another trick he's learning is to leave his food bowl. So leave it. Good boy. And now we can tune into the 12 Titans channel and you can see all the stuff they're up to. They just had a new litter. There's a lot of stuff happening on the homestead. For those of you tuning in for the first time, I'm Erica, and my family and I raise and breed Cane Corsos on our homestead property. That was Finnegan from our 2020 Atlas and Didi litter. Finn went to his new home back on Memorial Day. And these babies right here are from our Cayuse and Asha litter born in June of this year. In this video, the puppies are shown at four weeks old as part of our video series called Watch Me Grow. We're chronicling the litter's milestones from birth until the time they meet their new families, just as Finnegan did. If you haven't already checked out weeks one, two, and three, I highly recommend you click the suggested video banner above to view the entire playlist. We're continuing to highlight the puppy's development and give you some behind the scenes footage about how we raise our corsos. But before we get started, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and ring that notification bell so that you don't miss any of the videos we post, especially in this series. So let's do a recap of the puppy's first three weeks on Earth. During the first 20 days of a pup's life, it reacts only when it's in need of food, sleep, warmth, and its mother. In our case, Asha, their mother, spent nearly all of her time looking after them within the safety of their whelping area. But on the 21st day, it's almost like we had a new litter of puppies. At three weeks, their dormant senses wake up. So from day 21 to 28, the puppies' brains and nervous systems begin to develop and they become aware of their surroundings. So as Asha jumps out of the whelping area, they suddenly watch her wondering where she went. And when they started climbing out, we knew it was time to expand their environment. While our puppy's motor skills are still limited at four weeks old, they show the beginnings of playful behavior through their interaction with each other, their mother, and with me, their human mother. A typical day for a four week old puppy involves spending most of its day sleeping and eating, but the rest of the time is spent exploring. So notice that they are not in their nursery area. I'm actually giving them an opportunity to feel different flooring and experience different sights and sounds around the house. The pups can stand up, walk around, wag their tails, and test out their little puppy barks and howls. This is when they start to learn about their place in the world as a pup. Even at this young age, their temperaments and personalities are starting to emerge and become evident. They are already establishing a pecking order where some will want to lead and others will want to follow. But we have to watch out because the dominant ones can become bullies, picking on the others and hogging all the toys. 
However, a puppy should never be allowed to get too pushy. While the shyer puppies do have to learn to handle themselves in social groups, a dominant puppy needs to learn that it is not acceptable to be a bully as well. Ultimately, learning their individual personalities will help us ensure they are matched appropriately with their prospective families. And as you can tell, several of these puppies are already opinionated and have no problem letting everyone else know that they are not happy with the service they're getting this morning. A common practice that we employ at this age is tolerance training, which is a way of handling our puppies to make them more tolerant of future handling from new people. This can include holding the puppies close, gently tugging on their tails, lightly squeezing their paws, turning the puppies over and rubbing their bellies. If you recall from the week three video, at the very beginning, I placed one of the puppies over on its back and that interaction has helped him develop a level of trust and tolerance for being handled and cuddled by his new owner. Sometimes you just gotta sit in your living room and let the puppies nurse. <laughs> Sometimes you say, nope, not right now. This is a really fun time for us to be around the puppies. Rather than being these helpless chicken nuggets, they're more dog-like and independent. Now these pups have already nursed and had a big breakfast of soft solid food, yet they are attempting to nurse. It's probably not because they are hungry per se, more so because it acts as a pacifier. Remember they are still mammalian babies. The urge to suckle is quite strong, but they are in transition and Asha is increasingly weaning them off of her. So you might think that Asha is being rather rough with her pups, and to some degree she is. Asha is beginning to wean the puppies and discipline them. So through a bit of play biting and rough housing, she's letting them know that she's not interested in nursing, and their continued advances are just not appreciated. But they're persistent if nothing else, until she finally gives up and lets them have their way.
Okay, so if you hadn't noticed, this was a rainy, lazy morning, but I still needed to get to work. So it's time we scoop all the puppies up and get their weights. At four weeks, the puppies have just started on solid food, but their primary source of nutrition still comes from Asha. So we expect the same percentage weight gain for each pup during this weigh-in. But in the subsequent weeks, you'll notice that they'll experience exponential growth rates as they eat more and more solid food. You'll also notice that we decided to keep weighing the puppies on the baby scale so that you can see their size comparison from week to week and how much they are literally outgrowing the scale itself. Behind the scenes, we created a weighing timeline video for each individual puppy illustrating this. So your homework, should you choose to accept it, is to find these on our website at the link below. And last but not least is male number nine with the gray collar. They're pretty tired after all the sensory stimulation they received in the living room. So he and the rest of the litter is ready for a nap. Okay, so I have just finished taking everyone's weight and they were about to take a nap until I started talking. Now they want to get up. Hey babies. Got full bellies. It's nap time. Is it nap time? I think so. What are you still doing in here? I was taking your weight. I know, but get lost. N no, um, I'm checking you guys out. Oh, okay. Y you want to um, give us some more milk? Mm, you had enough, don't you think? You can never have too much milk, lady. Yeah, so I'm over here cleaning out their um, little nursery area. I'm gonna spend some time with them. You can see that week by week, they grow by leaps and bounds. This is purple, number eight. She's catatonic at the moment. I was being nudged by yellow, number five. He's a top. Mr. Gray, number nine. I was talking to female number two, green. Yeah. Hello. You need some wiping off, Mr. Red. Someone looks like blue was crawling under the, the door. That's gold. Female number seven. Pink, the first female, is looking rather rotund. Like I said earlier, because their personalities are emerging, I can really start to enjoy the puppies on an individual basis. Age-appropriate training at this stage includes not only exposing them to stimulation, but also touch. By the time they are ready to go to their new homes, they will be well-adjusted and primed to bond with their new peeps. Our new families will need to set their own routines and begin socializing and training their pups from the very first day they arrive. They should consider using online instruction to learn how to train their pups at home and at their own pace. Earlier this year, 12 Titans teamed up with Finn Rear Canine Leaders out of the UK. We reviewed and audited their course and discovered so many synergies with the approach we take to training our own Connie Corso pack. The best part is the training courses are offered online. The courses are designed to help you train your dog in specific areas from manners and obedience, handling and care, to even how to implement a raw food diet. If you're interested in learning more and signing up, check out the link in the description below to receive 10% off. And there you have it. 
As of this video, the pups were four weeks old and the countdown to meeting their new families was well underway. As for Finnegan, we miss him dearly, but we know he will bring his new family a lifetime of joy and happiness. Thank you again for tuning in and following us on our journey. If you appreciated the video, leave us a like. Feel free to share your respectful thoughts in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell. And as always, we'll see you in the next video.